Hey guys, this is Alex from Online Tarot with your second half of June reading. So this reading will be for Sagittarius, Moon, Rising and Venus. And um, if it doesn't resonate, please check your chart. Maybe other signs will resonate more with you. So we are going to see the general energy, what uh, is going on with you to today, tomorrow, right now. And... Um, your changes, challenges, love, life, money, and career. Just a quick reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with all of you 100%. Just take what resonates and leave the rest to other people. And if it resonates, hit the like button, subscribe, stay tuned for more. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you choose to follow me to the extended love or money uh, readings or both of them, or you need uh, a private reading, and you'd like to have it with me, the information how uh, to get it all will be down uh, in the description box. And we are starting with the general reading for Sagittarius, general energy for Sagittarius. Wow, Knight of Cups. Scorpius, they had a page of cups as the general energy as well. Uh, so there is some offer. Either you are making this offer or someone is making an offer to you so let's see your energy now in the middle of june what changes are waiting for you in the second half of june what challenges are waiting for you within this time frame your love life money and career And your energy in the end of June, facing July. Let's see. Oops, three cards. Okay, with them, three. Let's see what we have here. Your energy now. What's going on with you guys? Nine of cups and nine of wands. A lot of nines. So I guess you are feeling the solar eclipse coming because nines, it's almost a completion, like pre-completion cards and together nine of cups and nine of wands is like getting that you are feeling happy and you are and uh, a bit aggressively at the same time because you're like you are ready to protect what's making you happy because you started to see the signs of uh, the happiness or maybe financial abundance coming and like you are ready to protected from <laughs> everyone and anyone let's clarify what why the two nines are here four of swords you've been doing some healing meditating some of you have been sleeping and trying to regain your uh physical power because you've been tired and uh with this justice and the queen of swords i think that if you've been going uh, through some I don't know um, through some law issues some court issues there is the justice and the queen of swords a lot of swords and I'm getting like uh, this this is um, the decision is uh, being made in your favor and this is what's making you happy but at the same time you are still in the state of uh, being like you've been gathering your energy your wits everything and you are um like ready for war for some reason ready for war you, you you've gathered all this is like your army your your mind your all your powers your wits your energy your intelligence and you have it all around you and ready you're like steady 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 go right go where that's interesting so one more card hmm. uh, this is the uh, queen of uh, queen of cups energy and uh, in this particular deck, it's speaking, uh, well, for me as a reader, it's saying, like, 
I'm ready. I'm ready to accept whatever comes. Maybe you feel like, or you know already that this offer is coming, Knight of Cups, you see, and you're like this Queen of Cups. I'm ready. Bring it on. Hmm. So th there is some emotions here, but at the same time, some protectiveness. But uh, I think that just a lot of things is, a lot of stuff is going in your life, is going on in your life. So you are kind of trying to uh, have a grasp on everything. That's why the energy is so different. So what's changing uh, within the next couple of weeks for you? Yeah, I feel like you are juggling a lot. You're just having a lot on your plate. And um, I feel like with this high priestess, you are going to draw the line somewhere. You're going to set your priorities straight, choose what's important. Because you've been juggling too many things, too many things. And with this justice and the queen of swords, you might be cutting something out uh, for you just to, to have some space or to live your life. Because too much on your plate but you've been doing a great job by by trying to balance it all queen of pentacles page of cups ten of pentacles so um and one more the chariot so there's definitely something coming your way and you are going to make a decision so with this chariot card, something's coming your way, divine sending you something, a message, a person, an offer. Uh, but with this Queen of Pentacles, Page of Cups, and Ten of Pentacles, I'm I'm getting like you're choosing, you're choosing whether you want this pentacle or this cup, or you want the stability. Like, what is it? What is it you want? Uh, and since it's a, it's a general reading, uh, but we have the Knight of Cups here. Some of you are choosing love over stability. Whatever it may be for you. Okay, let's draw one more card. Any other messages about changes that are coming to Sagittarius? The second half of June. This one. There is definitely a choice. You need to choose, you need to draw, draw draw the line, I'm getting, draw the line, because it's like you've been stretching yourself thin, you've been stretching yourself thin, you've been doing too much, you've been trying to grasp too much to uh, all the things, you need to, you need to choose, like you're choosing three, but not four, four will be too much, there's something too much you are trying to do, so it's time to choose, guys, whatever cup you're turning away. Uh, what will be the challenge for you in this period? Knight of Pentacles and the Star. Hmm, that's interesting. You are getting some message, and with this Knight of Cups and uh, Knight of Pentacles energy, I'm getting that you've been expecting this message to come. You've been expecting it, and you've been waiting it for a while. You've been even dreaming about it, and it's a similar energy. Yeah. Um, Scorpios, they've been getting similar vibes. So if you have some um, some planets in Scorpio, go check uh, this reading as well because I think it will be interesting for you. Knight of Pentacles, like wish fulfillment becoming a challenge on this star. Let's see what it is about. The magician, you've been manifesting it. You've been dreaming. You've been wanting it. Definitely, there is some something is resonating with the Scorpio reading. Hmm. You you thought you definitely thought that this is not um you've been wishing it but you you thought how to say you you was ready you were ready to leave this uh, situation this person this idea because it has been coming to life for so long like you you lost hope you lost hope but you know what it's coming um so it can be a person that you really admire, someone with a high status, a man or a woman, uh, the cards that they are not gender specific, but someone with a high social status, someone mighty, I'm getting mighty. And uh, maybe for some of you, you're getting pregnant. 
ladies if if you been wishing it it's something that you've been wishing for really like trying to manifest and just but was disappointing uh, you were disappointed and uh, you were like ready to drop this idea because it was just not coming to life but is coming now okay one more thing what is this dream about challenge dream and challenge challenge and dream definitely with the six of cups you've been You've been thinking, you've been dreaming about it, you've been wishing. It's your wish coming true, it's your wish coming true, but it's a bit different energy, not like uh, with Scorpios, but still, if you have Scorpio in your chart, please check the trading for them. Your love life. Seven of Swords and Eight of Wands. It's like there is some prog progression happening. Uh, if you've been dealing with someone who was afraid of responsibility, or someone who was kind of shady, not open, not honest, not maybe just keeping some information from you, not being straight, uh, not being direct with you. There's some message coming for you. There's uh, This cycle is ending with the dishonesty, with you being kept in the dark. There are some options for you some options but you need to um, how to say you need to analyze these options using your past experience using your yes experience will uh, and uh, thinking being very analytical being very wise here well dealing um, with this communication and with these options because there is something new happening because you you think you know this person you think you know what to expect from them but no getting they've changed they've changed so let's see They've changed, but you need to remember about your experience. So if if it if this person is someone from your past and it seems like it, so just remember about past experience, but also look at the future because there are different options, not only what happened before. Different things can, can happen from this communication. With the world and the full card, it's the new beginning happening for you in love, like a totally new beginning, something something new. Um, I don't see it as the third party, I see it as the uh, celebration. You are enjoying something, celebrating, maybe drinking too much. And uh, I feel like you are not ready, you are not ready for this. But another wheel, you see, another wheel. Okay, we're going to go deeper in the extended reading, but two wheels, uh, sorry, the world, the fool, and the wheel of fortune. It's like something's coming that you're not ready for, but it's, it's a major change. It's a major change, a major new beginning, like something absolutely new. You're not expecting it, but it's faded. It's kind of faded with this wheel of uh, fortune it is. But it's kind of new, faded, and nice. But you will be like... <sighs> at, at the one hand, you are ready. <laughs> you are expecting something to come. But at the same time, it's not what you expect <laughs> to come. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's check your money and career. Oh, whoa, whoa. a lot of people are finally starting to enjoy their lives because um, this is also a theme for many readings uh, for this uh, time frame. You've been trying to to do everything yourself. You've been trying to be this emperor, controlling, controlling, and controlling again. Uh, controlling yourself, others trying to be perfectionist. I'm getting perfectionist. You've been trying to make everything like at 100%. But 
you're kind of releasing the control issues a little bit and letting yourself to relax a little bit, a little bit here, enjoy a little bit there, because as I was saying, you've been spreading yourself thin, too thin. <laughs> you've been dealing with too much and you've been juggling too many things and you need to have some, uh, some joy because otherwise you're going to be depleted if you're not already. Um, anything else about money and career? Hmm. New idea as well. Yeah, definitely something is resonating with Scorpio. This is uh, a new idea or a new offer, a new beginning that is bringing you, that is starting slow but uh, has great great perspective with this ace of pentacles this is something that uh will bring you financial stability it's like um uh, the divine sending you this offer or person or idea for you to grow for you to grow grow big i'm getting grow big grow big okay definitely there is some offer or idea that will make you not only stable but happy as well like uh, it will bring you emotional fulfillment doing this job doing this business or uh, working in this company um, it's what you've been wishing for too wishing for six of pentacles yeah it will be like uh, you will be if it's a company if it's a new job offer like they will value you and you you will value working for them uh it's like a very balanced thing a very good it's like you're a very good fit like a very good match and uh you will profit from working with them and they will profit from working with you it's like reciprocity great match career-wise okay but we will go deeper in the extended as well and now let's see what your energy will be in the end why my camera is shaking i'm not touching anything so in the end of uh, june facing july you are standing tall you are in your power with the six of wands you've conquered everything and i'm getting like you've uh, cleared the space a little bit for yourself because you you really need to um set your priorities straight because you're trying to do too much at the same time and uh this is really helping you this is really helping you to gain strength you are getting stronger you are getting uh wiser and uh, you feel more confident and with this ten of cups you feel happier happy 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 i'm getting happy 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 so so for some of you okay let's clarify why this ten of cups is here why the ten of cups is here i feel that your love life is going through a major transformation you see the world the fool the will now the death card it's uh, about your love life and someone might come, um, some soulmate, some soul connection, soul union, soul contract, whatever you call it. Uh, but you are connected like the divine uh, and you feel it. Someone you kind of vibe in synchronicity. This one and this one. And uh, I feel like you are planning... You see, 10 and 3, I feel like you're going from 10 to 3. You understand that you need to clear your space, clear your life. This is what I've been talking about, setting your priorities, because you are trying to do too many things at once. And that's why you are drained, right? You're frustrated, you're drained, you're tired. And while having only three things, you are focusing your, well, three can be four it can be one it can be two i don't know it's different for different people but you need to cut something out this is what we started with 
So you uh, will see a brighter future in front of you and you will be more successful with it because there's something great coming your way relationship-wise and career-wise and uh, you don't need to spread yourself thin any longer. You know what's important. So tend to what's important. And I feel like with this temperance card and the death card and you already know, I'm getting, you already know for some of you, you already know what to focus on. Okay, oh. Yeah, choose something like this or that. This or that, you, you have to make a choice. There is a choice, you have to clear something out and uh, focus on what's important. Sometimes not what's urgent matters, but what's important matters. Five of Pentacles. And the Sun. So I feel like you are to choose between this Five of Pentacles energy and the Sun energy. It's like you want to be... It's like while you are trying to grab everything around like this ten, ten of uh, ones, you cannot hold them for a long time and you're going to lose anyways. And while uh, clear, cleaning your life from what's not serving you can make you really happy. We have sun two times and this is about job too. So you got to choose something and this choice is going to free you and help you to enjoy your life more, to, to relax, to relax. Because you are overstressed and you are overstressing yourself so hope it resonates with you guys please let me know what you think like share subscribe i always appreciate it uh, as well as you sharing your stories in the comments uh, sometimes you are telling me uh, amazing things and i love it and most of all i love it when you support each other this is uh this channel is growing and becoming a community i never expected to be and um, i love it when you show love and support and do great things for other people so um some of you I will be seeing in the extended reading readings. If not, then thank you again. Love and light and bye.